After watching my wind reckoning firmware modification video number 34, one of the viewer asked me about how I had modified Tasmota firmware to customize and pre-configure some of the settings for a particular requirement. So in response, I thought of making this short and to the point video to explain how you can customize your own binary file in Tasmota. If you don't know what a binary file is, let me tell you a binary file is the firmware file that you use to flash your ESP devices with Tasmota. If you ever have flashed Tasmota firmware on your device, you might be aware of the fact that not all of the Tasmota features are enabled in the pre-compiled binaries due to flash memory limitations of your ESP devices. If you need additional features or want to personalize the firmware, like you can pre-configure your Wi-Fi SSID and password to let your ESP device connect to your network immediately after flashing, then you need to customize its binary first. If you go through Tasmota documentation, you will find a lot of features mentioned there that are not included in the pre-compiled binaries. Hence, to use them, you must compile your own binary with all those features enabled. So in this video, we will learn about how to compile a personalized binary file. Let's get started. Open your web browser and go to this link to open the binary compiling page of Tasmota. Link is also provided in the description below. Scroll a little down. Here you will find a lot of binary compiling tools. Select git pod from the listed online compilers, which is the simplest way to compile a Tasmota binary. Git pod is a web browser based online ID, just similar to your Arduino ID, where you can edit your programming codes. To use Gitpod, you first need to sign into your GitHub account. If you don't have a GitHub account, register for free by clicking sign up for a new account. After you log in the GitHub account, come back to Gitpod page and click this master release link to download the Tasmota master file for editing. This process may take some time to load all required files and libraries to the online IDE. Once it finishes, the final screen displays the three panels, Explorer, Editor and Terminal. In Explorer, click on Tasmota folder, scroll down and click user config override .h. and it will display the contents of this file in the editor area. Here you can enable or disable all features of Tasmota firmware. For example, in Tasmota rules page, if you want to enable these conditional rules, you need to add the following lines to user config override .h file. Simply copy these lines and press Ctrl V to paste them just above the last and if statement. Similarly, you can paste command lines for many other features of Tasmota. If you are having a good coding knowledge, you can also modify these features directly into myuserconfig.h file. For example, if you want to enable the same rule set that you had just defined in userconfig override file, Copy first line of it and then in my user config file, press Ctrl F and paste the contents here. And it will search the same line in this file. Now to enable these features, just uncomment these lines by deleting both these forward slashes. And you are good to go. If you want to disable any statement, just put two forward slashes in front of it. As mentioned earlier, you can also pre-configure your Wi-Fi SSID and password into it to let your ESP devices connect to your network immediately after flashing. Similarly, 
Here you can also pre-configure your MQTT settings, tele period setting, enable or disable home assistant auto discovery mode, your time zone and enable or disable a lot of module types. Some viewers also ask me about how I am getting three readings from wind reckoning sensor. Here is that wind reckoning settings too. So basically it has an ocean of user selectable choices about what you want to use and what not to use. You may go through it thoroughly and do all the settings as per requirement. Once you are done with all the settings, click three lines icon on the upper left corner hover over file and click save to save all the changes you have made. Now to create your customized bin file in terminal window type platform io run minus e tasmota and press enter. It will now create a bin file for you. Once finished Go to folder named Build Output, then Firmware, and here you will see your newly created tasmota.bin file. Right click on it and select Download and click OK. The file will be downloaded to your computer's download folder. And now you can flash your device with this bin file using Tasmotizer or any other flasher. Very easy, isn't it? So this was a short video on compiling your own Tasmota binary. Hope I was able to explain it in a simple and easy way. If you still have any query, do comment below and I will respond to it at the earliest. You can also join our telegram channel VCC Ground to discuss things in detail. If you are new to this channel, please hit subscribe button below. To stay updated on many out of the box practical home automation ideas. If you like my work, let me know by hitting the like button. Stay connected and I will meet you in next video soon. Until then, goodbye friends.